Hi, my name is Candace Brown, and I am the recognition chair for the National Residence Hall Honorary Tau Alpsa Epsilon Chapter at the University of Arkansas. So this video is going to be about how to write a quality OTM. But first things first, let's get some of the logistics out of the way. So you'll need to go to otms.nrhh.org. From here, you'll need to make an account, or if you've already made one, then just sign in. My page looks a little bit different than yours, but you'll be able to submit either a general OTM, which will be about a specific person, or a program OTM. You'll select a category. Any of these will do. You'll put in their information. You don't really need to put in their address or their phone number, but you definitely need to put in their email address. Then you'll have your information over on the side. As far as the actual OTM's content, we're going to look at an example. This is from Samantha Brandeberry, our NRHH president chair, and she wrote this OTM for the month of August about her friend Kenny, who is on the Gladson Ripley staff. There are a couple reasons why this OTM is a great one. Number one, she uses all 600 words possible in the OTM. It's not saying that word count is important, but just know that if you don't have at least some sort of substance put in, then you're not going, your OTM is not going to be really considered very seriously whenever a committee goes to vote. We, we called that last month in our meeting, where's the beef? If you don't have substance to your OTM, then it's not going to be considered very seriously. Another thing that's great about it is that she themed it to be about Superman. So she talks about him not being able to fly physically, but how he has the ability to lift our spirits as a staff, and how his only kryptonite is that he has a weakness for serving others. So she themed throughout this Superman bit, and it makes it entertaining and winds everything up nicely in the end that he's a superhero. The other very important thing besides quantity and making it funny or entertaining, and when I say quantity, remember, is not the ultimate goal, but know that it's not going to be considered if it doesn't have some length to it. So quantity and uh, some kind of funny or entertaining thing, but the other bit is that it's month specific. She talked that was going on in the month of August, how from day one Kenny took the initiative and how he helped the students with home. Using month specific things is what's going to make this an of the month award truly. So if you don't have month specific things, if you have just general personality traits about someone, if she had said only Kenny is a great guy, if she hadn't said anything about what he actually does or what he did during the month of August, that might, this might not have been considered at all. So yeah, just know that uh, if it's not a good substantial length, that it's not going to be very considered very seriously. If it doesn't have month-specific things, then it won't be. And if it's not entertaining. So be sure to make it entertaining. We're, we'll have fun reading this if you have fun writing it. Well, that's all you need to know for writing an OTM. So happy writing.